Hi everyone, it's Sue from So Crafty. Um, I hope the lighting is good enough. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. I started playing around with some uh, colored paper, dye paper, and I used to use these big squirt bottles of water and sometimes it was just spraying out way too big and, and uh, just covering too much of the paper or just when it wasn't squirting right. And I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I saw these little spray bottles and I thought, well, those would be really nice to put my colors in because then I could also work in a smaller area and not take up my entire kitchen. And so um, I went on here and experimented a little bit tonight. I didn't record it because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do and how it was gonna turn out. So um, I just thought I would show you the afterwards effect. <laughs> uh, so um, I'll show you some of these and some of them are not perfect. But that's okay because, you know, you can cut them up and use them in different areas. And if you just use little patches of them and the time you decorate them, hey, it's just a little bit of a background. I thought these might be some edgings and that I could cut. And, um, and then I've got the negative of that. And I'll show you some of these. I'll try to go fast so it won't take so long. And again, like I said, you know, some of them are not perfect, but that's all right. It's just some background pages and or little pieces whatever I decide to do with them actually <laughs> some greens and I do have different patterns in here I just wanted to get like a little bit of every color in that one and then I just did some tea dye um, I actually did some tea dye stuff but then I was going through my tea so fast with that little tiny squirt bottle and so um i will show you well i'll wait till i get to it that one just kind of got in there I got, I got a big stack here when i get to it i'll show you the difference and what i did so here's some yellows and of course i did the tea first and so i didn't um i didn't go rinse it off <laughs> and uh, so i got some of the brown in there too but again i can cover that all up and use it for some scraps or whatever it was just a tie-dye one here I did, um, I had picked up these doilies. I have a niece that does, um, uh, she goes and buys those big crates and gets a bunch of stuff in it. And I got an entire pack, uh, I think it's got about 12 in it, of these little doilies. And I think I got the whole thing for like a dollar. And my first intention was to do some papers with these and spray them. And so that's kind of what this one is. I just threw them on there in different areas and sprayed them. Um, so, let's see. There's some really pretty ones going to come up here. This one's really light, but look at this paper. I don't know how well you can see it. It's just a really light um, color of it. And what this is, I again, I was at the Dollar Tree, and I saw these doilies. You get two for a dollar. And the, my first thought was, oh, what a pretty pattern that would be on paper. And so that's what I started playing with. And But um, I did notice that by the time you start doing other colors, uh, of course, the colors start to fade. Like this one here was pretty much near the end, so it's got a little bit of everything in there. Um, got some pretty solid ones here. And I could have sprayed them a little bit darker. I just wanted to experiment. Wasn't sure how it would turn out. That one's really pretty. And so anyway, but since you get two for a dollar, I would suggest buying enough to where you can use one per color. That way you don't have to go rinse it out, let it dry before you use it again. Just for two for a dollar, just go get you, you know, however many colors you're going to use, get that many of them. Uh, so... And this was um, a stencil. I just had this stencil here. And um, so I thought that would be neat for like different buttons or different things. And of course I did, every one I done, I did like the negative of it. And if you're not sure what that means. So I sprayed this one. Okay, so I sprayed this one. But before I moved it, I took another page and put it right on top of it like this sorry my hands are probably getting all in the way I don't have a stand yet when I get a stand it'll be a lot better but 
Anyway, so I put this one on top of it and rubbed it all on so that I, and then when I pulled it off, then I got the opposite look of the one that I sprayed. Uh, so um, you'll see several of these coming up. Not all in the same pattern. <laughs> and then I was, I seen in one other video, I think it was, I think it's the outpost thing, I'm not sure. And I seen her doing some stenciling and she was just putting the papers right on top of each other and I was thinking to myself, how is that not bleeding over and that? But, uh, and maybe it didn't, but of course one of mine did. We'll see there, there you go. You can see where one of mine did, one of the purples did. But that's, a, again, okay, I can decorate over that. So no, no biggie, I'm not worried about that. So I'll just fly through these real quick, all these different colors. The colors really are pretty. I hope it's showing up on camera that good. And then here's some that I did in the tie-dye. And that, you just a really light misting of it. Try to move slow enough to not make you dizzy. But um, I thought those were really pretty, these little tie-dye ones. But those would be cute for buttons or any kind of like, whatever you need a circle on. So, and then here's some more of the different type of stencil. That's the negative one to, to this one. Again, some of them are not perfect, but that's all right. I was just kind of playing around with the different, uh, like how much to spray, how much not to spray. As you can see, I was getting a little better there. It's not as bad. Um, with this, I uh, pulled out a new stencil because a lot of my stencils I got, I just bought them at a sale or something, and they didn't keep the, the negative part. And um, so this one was actually new. I actually took the negative out and I wanted to use both so that, um, see where you can really see it on this one, how it's got both sides. This one's after I took it out, this is the little piece that I kept. And I would, once I'd spray it and I add that backwards. This is the one that I took out that I sprayed and this is the one that I, the little piece that I took out of it and laid it down so that when I sprayed it would cover it up and then what I did here was just flip it over and so I took that spray off of it and put it right on the same page too again just playing around getting used to it now see here you can see where these are not this one I sprayed pretty heavy so all the spots of the ones are not even taken out yet <laughs> kind of came on that page which is okay I'll use them it's another one like that and just like I said just I got a whole stack of stencils at a sale and I just was playing around with them and um, I can cover these completely up in collage pages or whatever if I decide not to use them that was a big flower and I just tried to get the corner of the flower I thought this one was really pretty negative to that trying to rush through here Okay, now I'm getting into this other paper here. I wanted to show you the difference here. Um, here's just some without stencils, just showing you different. I did some really light and some really heavy. But here's the difference. These, these are made out of actual, actual tea. Um, and I was going through the tea so fast because I got quite a few here with just tea dyed. And I was going through the tea so fast because I was doing both sides and um, I decided I didn't want to use up all my tea because I drink tea every day. <laughs> um, but I'm also a cake decorator. That's how I made all my colors. I use actual, um, like actual uh, gel paste. Makes the water so much better and it's a lot richer colors. And so I decided why not use some of my brown coloring so that um, I can make my papers you know darker like tea dyeing but yet they're gonna be brown only thing is of course it's the first time I was giving it a shot and I overdid it I actually put too much in it and that's why they're so dark and uh, but again I can use those for background things but if I just put like a light amount in it then I could get this rich brown color just like I was using tea, but yet it just be the, the colors, the cake coloring. And these are the first ones that I'd done, and you can tell that it, I was really getting them too wet. Um, some of them, I just didn't like them, so I just sprayed over them anyway, just so I had just a little bit of contrast in the background. But um, 
just rush through here. I know I'm going kind of quick, but I don't want this video to turn out too long. I thought that stencil there was neat. You can just cut around and make make different um, things out of those little tags or something. Decorate with them. And any of these and that, you know, can be decorated on top of. Again, I was just playing around. This here was a doily. I don't even remember where I got this. I don't remember if somebody gave it to me or I picked it up at like Goodwill or something. I don't even remember. Um, but the uh, the reason I picked it up was to do some color dyeing. And um, I'd actually even cut a little piece of the doily out already in that to use for something else. And journal. I took one of these little flowers out and decorated something with it uh, but for journals. But um, anyway, I just took these and put it on there and sprayed it so it would go through the holes. Put another page on. Um, here's the other page I put on top to press it down. Of course, you don't get as much of the pattern, but, um, you know, you get some of it, and it just left an impression. So, I just thought that was kind of cute. So, okay. So, these are all the pages. I wanted to hurry up and rush through those because I want to have time to show you. Sorry, that's my timer on my stove going off. Um, I want to have time to show you these envelopes because they really turned out nice. Um... There's one I just sprayed with the last minute spray. Oh, and yeah, because I stuck them up there um, and the because I sprayed them, I didn't cut off the sticky part yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not. And I that one stuck onto this one, so I'll have to just um, fix that later. But again, I took those doilies that I had and put on there to spray the envelope. I really hope you guys can see all this. I'm trying to hurry and try to watch the video too this one i'm probably just gonna have to decorate over because um i didn't realize that the purple bled through it so oh i'm sorry about that timer i should have shut it off before i started this um that was just a light purple and there's some of the doilies but these are still a little bit damp even but i just wanted to show you look at that that is so pretty i think that's with that dollar, that, well, 50 cent doily at the Dollar Tree. Two for a dollar. And again, I'm going to go back and get more so that I don't have to blend my colors. You know, uh, just I'll get one for every color so that way when I'm doing this and I switch colors, then I don't have to worry about it bleeding through. This was that other doily somebody had given me. Um, this was just where I was matting it down to soak up the thing. Another one I was just matting down so that's not perfect, but look at this, how pretty. I just think that is so pretty. And then some of these bigger envelopes, tie-dye one there. Well, I should leave it sideways so you can see it better. The tie-dye one there. This one I just sprayed tie-dye. I think that's really pretty, just light. Again, that other doily. Look at this, so, so pretty. I just think the, <laughs> two for a dollar just such pretty color such pretty picture and stuff like that you get out of it for 50 cents <laughs> and then there was one of those round ones i just stuck right in the center and sprayed it so um well that's all i wanted to share with you guys tonight i hope you all have a blessed day and if you like this video um please hit the like button um please subscribe and and hit the bell so you can get notified every time that i post a video I'm just learning how to do all this. I don't even know how to edit yet. And so I'm winging it. <laughs> um, but um, see, because if I knew how to edit, I would stop it and go turn off that timer and then come back. But I don't even know how to do that. I tried it the other day and lost my video. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, please have a blessed day and uh, God bless.